to Akshara Foundation's video on fractions. If students gain a good understanding of the basic concept of fractions by Standard 5, then they will enjoy the subject. In this video, let us talk about basic fractions and simple addition and subtraction of fractions. Using teaching aids found in Akshara Foundation's Maths Kit, you can introduce students to the concept of whole and equal parts of a whole. Here's a little trick before you start. Dip these teaching aids into a little water and see how easily they stick on the board. Each of these objects is one whole. Can these be divided into two or more equal parts? Of course. First, show students how one whole can be divided into two equal parts. Next, show how one whole can also be divided into four equal parts. Make sure that students understand that four equal parts together make a whole. Now, let us say we have one student named Geeta and one part of the four parts is given to Geeta. Your students should be able to identify that three parts of the whole are remaining. To show students how a fraction is written arithmetically, let them know that the number below the line always shows the total number of parts that the whole is divided into. This number is called denominator. The number above the line is called a numerator. 1 upon 4 or 1 fourth is called a fraction. What is remaining is also a fraction which is 3 upon 4 or 3 fourth. Students can also try making equal parts by folding a sheet of paper. Ask them to fold the sheet once and then open it out to see two equal parts called halves. Can students create four parts using the same sheet of paper? All they have to do is fold the paper twice to see four equal parts. Now that students understand fractions, they will now be ready to add basic fractions. Take one fraction strip marked 1 upon 4 and add another 1 upon 4 to it. We then get 2 upon 4 which is also called half. If we add 1 upon 4 to this, we now get 3 upon 4. Add another 1 upon 4 to get 4 upon 4 or 1 whole. Similarly, we now see that if we add the fraction 1 upon 2 to 1 upon 2, we get 1 whole. Let us take two half filled glasses of juice. If we pour the juice from one glass into the other, we are adding half and half and we get one whole glass of juice. Let us now move on to subtraction of basic fractions. Let us take a circle and divide it into two equal parts. If we were to remove one part from it, we are left with one upon two or half. We can also show subtraction using a cake. Let us cut the cake into four equal parts. If we remove one part from the four parts, then we are left with three parts or three fourths of the cake. So, 4 upon 4 minus 1 upon 4 is equal to 3 upon 4. A collection or a group is also called one whole. This can also be divided. For example, here is a group of 12 students. If the number of girls is 7, then we say that 7 out of 12 students are girls. Ask students to identify how many are boys. 5 out of 12 are boys. This collection or group consists of 9 counters. Let us give 4 counters to Geeta. Geeta now has 4 out of 9 counters. Now give 2 counters to John. So John has 2 out of 9 counters. How many counters from the collection are left for Amina? We write the fraction as 3 upon 9. Proceed slowly till all students have understood the basic concepts. Your students could try these problems 
using Akshara's teaching aids to strengthen the basic concepts of fractions. For a quick review, check whether your students can identify 3 upon 8, 5 upon 9 and 2 upon 7 by looking at the colored parts in the figures. You can now make learning fractions fun for your students. Maths all day, yentha khushi, yentha maja, baba ni no duba, dinavidi, mojumadi, 